I'm home. Like she said, I grew up in Mills, Florida. Florida, a lot has changed. There's a lot of anxiety in our community. People are really having a lot of fears about what could happen and what couldn't happen. But, you know, first of all, the God I serve ain't never left us. But the Florida voter registration form doesn't say anything about which former felons can have their right to vote restored or which ones aren't eligible to vote. Or in some cases, the state reached out to them to encourage them to register to vote. Once they did that and they were able to participate in an election, guess what? Now they're getting arrested and it's, it's very disheartening. I'm optimistic that whatever happens, we will still be victorious. And let's do this thing, right? And we'll make some phone calls. <laughs> My name is Mike and I'm volunteering with our union to reach out to our members and their families to remind you that the final day to vote is uh, next Tuesday, November 8th. That's what we do. We get out, get the information out to help people understand that you're voting for your own best interests. This is a, a vote for democracy. This is a, a reason why we organize and why we encourage people to do so because we want the opportunity to hear our voices and the only way we can do that is to knock on doors. Our intentions are to uh, canvas the neighborhood and then to also we've got a group that is phone banking. Make phone calls and encourage our friends, neighbors, whoever you can to make sure we get out and turn out and vote. And to find out if they haven't voted, why haven't they? And we've got to give them the information in order to, for them to make a informed decision. How politics affects everybody. We all work with the community to get the word out and educate our members in the community about standing up for your vote and for your lifestyle and for your families. That's what we do. That's why it's important. And uh, put people in position that's gonna help us and not harm us. So that's the reason why we're uh, doing this, uh, this weekend to get people out to vote. A celebration. I'm Melanie Campbell, President and CEO of the National Coalition on Black Civic Participation and convener of the Black Women's Roundtable. And we've been going from Ohio to Florida, we've been Georgia, Michigan. Our people need joy. We gotta bring joy to the streets between now and November 8th. Say, bring joy to the streets. Bring joy. Bring joy to our people. Say, I will vote. I will vote. I will vote. I will vote to protect our rights. That's the song I need right I'm coming to you right now talking about the fact that voting is real and voting is now. Oftentimes we go out and protest, but we don't go out and actually make change. We have an open window now to go make change. So let's make sure we get out in massive numbers and let's go vote. Your vote counts. If it didn't, they wouldn't be trying to take it. So let's make sure we go get to the polls and let everybody know we got a voice and we want to be heard. See you at the polls. It is so important that we come together and vote. This is a season, I believe, of God's blessing. We're gonna shock some folk. Let's get together. Mama, grandmama, find them up. We're gonna vote in this season, all of us. Power of the ballot, let's vote. Father God, we're going out to vote because people are trying to take our democracy. People are trying to take our freedom. But Father God, just like you told me, let my people go. Yes, and yes, Father God, God, right now, yes. we're asking you to tell them to let our people vote. Oh, Father oh, God, we yes. have no more time for mess. Yes. But Lord, it's time for us to be blessed. And Lord, we ask that you cover us with your precious blood. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Yes. We're in Men's Florida where Harry T. Moore died for the voting rights, yes. he was yeah. the one that actually did the largest voting yes. registration in Ku Klux Klan, bombed him actually his house on Christmas Eve. Yes. That's why. So we on the street of Harry T. Moore. It's a pleasure to be home. We just get ready to go ahead and, and, and make sure our people get out and use their power, own their power. All right. All right, let's go, Sir Andre.
out here trying to get people to get information out uh, to tell folks to vote. Well, you already voted, Mr. Yes, Long? You voted already? Uh, okay. I believe it's in the early 50s before we can even start voting. Well, then we let black people vote. That's right. Then mm -hmm. they can vote for white. All right, we're going to step the rest of your okay, day. Okay, I'll take care. So, whenever I come home, for one, I get, get a chance to jump off the merry-go-round of working nationally, but also get a chance to see my family, see my friends, um, and also pour in, try my best to pour into the community that poured so much into me. Lots changed, and so generationally, you know, a lot of folks we know have gone on, including my parents and a couple of sisters too. So, so that's the sad part, right? You, you, you know, you're never ready for your parents to go, ever, ever. And, uh, but I feel her spirit telling us to keep pushing. This is what she said. Thank you, every <laughs> day, And um, so I feel her spirit truly in this moment that, you know, we will come home. It's nothing like home. Okay, what you do. How highbrow you think you are. If you miss where you come from, you miss it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the father of Benjamin Crump. Uh, and Harry T. Moore came from this church. This is a, this church is very historic. Um, this is where I get my blackness, my power, uh, my beliefs. Uh, so to be put here and assigned here to a church that's full of history, that just blessed me even more because I've been black all my life. My father was Isaac yes. Campbell Park is named after him, but he was he had to be a coach, he had to be a teacher, he had to be a mentor. Thankful that the community felt uh, the way they do about our dad to name a park after him. Yes, and not big. just a, any park, it's the park where he, he poured into others mm -hmm. when he was alive. He was a coach. Right, and he was brother. Well, he was a teacher. He was, you know, he worked on the. He, he, he was, was an advocate. He was the daddy yeah. for the community. Right. Yeah. And, <laughs> and so we're gonna do our part, just like they did theirs. We really do appreciate the Campbell family, what they have done in this community, and uh, it's just so much history here. You know, so much history. And every time I ride past this and see your father's name, or I go to your mom's church or whatever, it just gives me an extra energy to say we got to keep fighting. The fact that Harry and Harry T. Moore's home was bombed uh, in, in, on December 25th, 1951, Christmas, sleeping in their beds. This is where their home was bombed. Why? Because he was the president of the NACP and they were registering black people to vote. This is a part of your legacy. This is a part of your history. This is part of your family history, your family legacy. You pushed, you all pushed this. Your mother pushed it. Your father pushed it. Your great grandmama pushed it. Um, and now you continue in the mantle. I'm just looking at all of these names. Yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of folks that, that you know, right? Now. Yes. yes, that you know that, that came on. on. Yeah. They bought these groups to help help fund out the programs out of the center. And then thank you, Solandra, and the Florida Black Women's Roundtable, because not only is this home here and the center here, but you all make sure that there's a polling precinct here. Appreciate that you you came out to Florida, you came back home to help knock doors, to help the young folks out here um, with their game, black youth voters out there doing their thing, pushing yeah. out the students there. And yeah. um, we just thank you for all that you do. And we just thank you for always remembering Florida, yes. you know, in more ways than one. <laughs> Not just as your home it's state, a, yep. but remembering always to carry in the heart of the people of Florida with you as yeah. you traveled around the world and around the country. So we appreciate that. Thank you, my sister. and I'm with Black Info.
Hi, I'm Solange. I'm with the Florida Coalition on Black Seal Participation in the Black Women's Roundtable. And we want to send a super special shout out to Miss Melanie Campbell. For all the hard work you do across the nation, we just wanted to surprise you with um, this video and dedicate it to you and, up, and lift up your story, her story, our hero, our shero, our sister. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? And these are just some of the many lessons that you have taught us all. We appreciate you, we love you, we thank you, and as always, send four people to the polls with you when you get out to vote. You said four? Four. Hey!